Kim Fallon. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're going to be reenacting scenes from Hamlet with crabs. I'm kidding. Whose was it? A horse and mad fellows it was. Whose do you think it was? Nay, I know not. A pestilence on him for a mad rogue. He poured a flagon of Rhenish on my head once. The same skull, sir, was York's skull. The king's jester. This? Yes, that. Let me see. <sighs> Alas, poor York. I'm Fallon. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be reenacting scenes from Shakespeare's Hamlet with crabs. Actually, we're going to be making crabs. Hi, I'm Fallon. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be reenacting scenes from Hamlet. <laughs> Oh man, I can't even get my lines right. Need to get it fed to me in an earpiece. Hi, I'm Fallon. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be reenacting Shakespeare's Hamlet with crabs. Because nowhere in the text does it state that the characters are not crabs. Therefore, we can reenact it with them. Actually, we're going to be making crab cakes. And chicken cakes, if you live with someone who has the taste palette of a two-year-old, even if you don't live with an actual two-year-old and you don't like crab. You can substitute chicken for crab if you don't want to have fun, I guess. Anyway, let's get started. I need crab, capers, my mitts, Flour, oil, lemons, my mitts, cayenne, egg white, chives to taste, Gladys, and my mitts. All right, cool. So we're going to start by putting everything into a bowl, pretty much. Uh, you have whew, <laughs> one pound of crab meat. This took three whole crabs to make one pound. If you don't have like enough for a whole pound, uh, I mean, I'm doubling the recipe anyway. It usually calls for eight ounces, but I felt like making a lot of them. Uh, if you don't have enough, like if you're missing like a couple ounces or something, you can actually replace it with uh, some chicken, just shredded chicken. Nobody's gonna be able to tell. Crab is a very, very strong flavor. Okay, so. One pound of crab, six green onions diced. I'm not gonna use all of them because I'm also using them for the chicken cakes I'm gonna be making after for my brother because he does not like crab. Four tablespoons of capers. and a teaspoon, two teaspoons of lemon juice. I'm not measuring, I'm just gonna squeeze out some lemon into there. Whoops, make sure you don't let any of the seeds get in there because you don't want any lemon trees growing in your belly. And these lemons have a lot of seeds because I, I don't know if they make seedless lemons but the grocery store that I buy mine from, oh, that is a tough, tough lemon. The grocery store I buy mine from definitely do not have seedless lemons. I checked. If you don't have any lemons, you can use the concentrated lemon juice. Works just as well, tastes the same. I just bought 
cut all the lemons. I still have some. As you can see, hopefully, if I did this right. seeds yeah, that's probably about two tablespoons hopefully four egg whites <laughs> whoops just gonna put the lemons into the egg white bowl and then four tablespoons of flour. Kind of holds everything together. And I think I got everything in there. Yep. Oh, cayenne pepper. Don't forget the cayenne pepper. So the recipe calls for like an eighth of a teaspoon and like, that's like a pinch or something. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. Shake, shake, shake. Actually, I'm gonna shake it into the cap so I don't put two. Yeah. Spicy. Zesty. So you can use your hands, but because I'm doing recording and stuff, I, I usually will use my hands. No judgment. Just kind of get in there, mush everything together. I'm going to use a spoon for the sake of recording because I need to press the buttons and touch stuff. And I'm wearing a cute outfit. I don't want to get anything on me. He's gonna leave that in a bit. So just just mix everything all all together. You're gonna have chunks of crab, which is fine, dandy. That's how I like it. Did I say six green onions? I did. I meant twelve. If you double the recipe, it's twelve. Six and six is 12. But anyway, gonna get them all nice and mixed in there. All right, so that's the crab cake batter, dough, cake batter. I don't mix, possibly. So we're going to put our pan on medium. I don't even know if I wrote that. Saute in oil and butter until golden brown. Looks like we're going with medium. So I have two tablespoons of oil and two tablespoons of butter already pre-mixed that I'm gonna just... <laughs> there we go. It's a brand new pen. Never used it before. It's starting to, to sizzle. That's how you know that it's ready to go. All right. So I'm gonna put some just like that. And you wanna be careful when you see kind of full. Kind of just plop it on in there. And hopefully it will stay together. This is one of my favorite things to make uh, for parties and stuff because like people don't expect you to make crab cakes from scratch. Even though it's really the hardest part is like breaking open the crab. Like I mean, it's not even that hard. It's just 
labor intensive and annoying. Let's see if we can get this to. Yep. It's labor intensive and annoying. You can use uh, imitation crab if you'd like, or you can buy. I, I guess you could probably buy crab that's already been put into a container for you. I think that's a thing. It should be if it's not. Okay, we're just gonna let those cook for a bit. You hear that? That sizzle? Is that still recording? Yeah, cool. I hope this pan isn't hard to clean. That one sucked, because it's cute. It's a cast iron with, I think, ceramic on it. I'm a fan of cast iron. I'm not a fan of cleaning cast iron, but I like using them. I'm just not a fan of cleaning dishes in general. So while this is happening, you can prepare a sauce, which I'm going to do later, because I have to be in front of the camera. I only have two cameras right now. This one. And this one. Maybe I'll get like a whole rig one day. I actually, you know. Figure out how to do it my cooking studio. Let's see if that's... I got a new spatula, which is like perfect angle for flipping. Uh-oh. You may have gotten stuck. <laughs> Got my mitts. Good. Yep, got stuck to the side of it. Whew. Ready? Whoop. Nope, I flipped that a little too soon. Maybe I should turn this up, probably. Just a tad. Yep. No. Don't turn it up. We're going to be making the sauce. And, uh... I'm not following my recipe because that has sriracha in it and my roommates don't want sriracha for some reason. So I'm not going to measure anything, but it's basically just mayo. Mayo. Probably a little bit more than that. I'm going to be making enough sauce to bring with us to the game night. Just, just an overabundance of mayo. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze a whole ass lemon into there. Lemon juice will actually help make it a little more liquidy and pourable. Make sure you don't get any seeds in there because lemon seeds are the last thing that you want in your sauce. I mean, not the, I mean, there's probably worse things that you can get into your sauce, but when you're just enjoying yourself and you bite down on a lemon seed, it's, it takes you out of the moment. You know, I'm getting lemon juice. I'm getting lemon juice everywhere. Ooh. Okay, 
And then we have pickles. Uh, my sous chef has blessed me with an overabundance of pickles. So I'm just gonna put as much as I feel like in there. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. Uh, ugh, I lost my napkin. All right, and the last ingredient is garlic powder. Just gotta, you know. I'm not even gonna say a little bit, cause, oh, I am getting this. Everywhere, everywhere. Okay, it's enough, probably. Uh, we're gonna put a little tiny bit of olive oil in that, just to make it a little more uh, easy to mix. It's not gonna look pleasant. <laughs> Which is fine, because I mean like, I don't even think regular tartar sauce, but maybe we should put some more pickles in there. Yeah, I'm thinking, thinking more pickles. Maybe I wasn't blessed with an overabundance of pickles. Maybe, maybe I was given the amount that I need. Sometimes you get what you need. Okay, let's mix those up. like a good way to try this. So you can put sriracha in it if you want. Let's uh. so light wine goes with seafood. And this is a Chardonnay, also known as a Chardonnay. I don't usually drink white wine. I think that's the joke that I originally thought of. Come on. Alright. So. Got my fork. <laughs> Gotta sit on my feet so that I don't look like a, a child. my robe, pour myself a glass, oops, so I made the chicken ones for my brother, they didn't stay together too well, so make sure that you turn up the temperature on your stove, hmm, it's good. But that's how you make crab cakes. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. That'd be cool. I'm a I actually don't know what that does except for inflate my ego a little bit. I like the validation. You can tell I don't usually drink white wine. It tastes like, why does it taste like butter? Is this butter? Maybe uh, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you want to see my videos when they come out. Um, I also do post speed paints and drawings. Somebody asked me to list the, my top 10 bogs that I'd like to be thrown in after my death. So maybe I'll make that video. I, maybe, seems like a fun. <laughs> I'm gonna do like, subscribe. Mm. Oh, I missed a piece of crap. Let four captains bear Hamlet like a soldier to the stage, for he was likely, had he been put on, to have proved most royally and for his passage. The soldiers' music and the rights of war speak loudly for him. Take up the bodies, such a sight as this, becomes the field, but here shows much amiss. Go, bid the soldiers shoot.